Hey friends, today I want to talk to you about the book that you listen to called Bugs A to Z. So if you haven't listened to the book yet, head on over there and listen to that on the IRA first and then we uh, then come back to this assignment, okay? This The name of this book is Bugs A to Z and this is kind of a unique book. It's not a story where it has like a beginning, middle, and end and characters and things like that. This is not a fiction book. This is a nonfiction book and it's organized very uniquely. Um, it is almost like an encyclopedia about bugs, but it says from bugs A to Z, and that's talking about the entire alphabet, like the, all the letters from A, B, C, D, all the way through the alphabet to letter Z. And if you um, look through it, it goes through each letter and tells you some pretty unique things about bugs and has different um, pictures to go with it. I found two unique things that I didn't know about this, and one of them that I want to highlight is the bee. It says bees have five eyes, but none of them can see the color red. I thought that was pretty interesting. I'd never, I didn't know that. Then the other thing that I found interesting was ladybugs. Not all ladybugs have the same number of spots. Some have no spots, and other have as many as twenty-four. That's unique. I thought that was pretty cool. But um, the neat thing about it is it starts with the alphabet and goes through, and it tells you a name of a bug for every letter of the alphabet. And I thought that was pretty cool. And so today I want us to put some words in ABC order, some words that I found in the story, and we're going to learn how to put things in ABC order. So you're saying, what is ABC order? Well, it's just the order of the alphabet. And ABC order is a powerful tool that people use every day um, and to put things in different order and to organize information. So, I've got some words down here. We'll take a look at these. Whoa, uh -oh, knock some stuff off. All right. We'll look at these words first, and then we'll talk about ABC order. Um, these words were from the story. I found them all in the story. You can say them after me. Leaf hopper, fire, fly, hop, mantis, leg, wing, inchworm, ant, sting, crawl, spots. So I found all of those words in the story, and we're going to put them in A, B, C order. And that's just the order of the alphabet. Now, I've got a thing that I like to do when I put things in A, B, C order, and I just like to write the whole alphabet across my paper. Whatever I'm working on, um, I just like to write it. I just started with A and wrote the whole alphabet all the way down to letter Z. And that just helps me organize my thoughts. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at for letter A. Do you see any words down here that start with letter A? That's right. We have one word, ant. It starts with letter A. That's the first letter in ant. So it's going to be our lucky number one up here for um, ABC order. And so now that we've... Now that we've got A, are there any other A words? Nope. We can mark it off. Then I know I'm done with A. I don't have to go back to it. Okay, the next letter is B. Are there any words that start with the letter B? Do you see any? I don't either. And that's okay. You don't have to have a letter. Oh, you don't have to have a word for every letter of the alphabet. So I'm just going to mark through B because we're done with it. All right, what about C? I see one way over here. It's the word crawl. Are there any other C words? Nope. So crawl will be next. We have to kind of ramp them up here. Okay, so we're done with C. What about the letter D? Nope. We'll mark it out. E? I see some E's, but no words that start with the letter E. You have to, it has to start, the first 
letter of the word has to start with letter E. So no E's. What about F? Oh, I see two letter F words. So which one gets to go first? Hmm, does it matter? Yes, it does. Well, we have the words fire, like from fire ants, and then the word fly. And the way we decide which one comes first is when you have the same letter at the beginning of the word, like this one starts with F and this one starts with F, you have to look at the second letter. So now we're not comparing the first letters, we're comparing the second letters. And the second letter here is I, and the second letter here is L. Well, look at your alphabet that you wrote. Which one comes first in the alphabet, I or L? Well, let's see. I'm going to start right here, and you let me know when I get to them. I'm looking for I and L. Oh, there's I and L's down there. So which one comes first? Letter I. So fire is going to come first. Let me scoot over there. And then fly will come next. And now we're through with letter F. All right, moving on to the next one. Are there any G words? Not words that start with G. What about H? Yep, I see one. Is it only one? Yep, so hop will be next. Now we're through with A. What about I? Yep, inchworm. That's kind of a long word. J? No, no J words. K? Nope, no K words. L. Oh, we do have two L words. I have leg and leaf hopper. And you know what? The leg seems just so short. It's probably going to come first, I think. But oh, let me follow my rules. Okay, so the L's are the same. Whoop. The L's are the same. So now we're going to compare the second letter. Second letter here is E. Uh-oh, second letter here is E. Oh, dear. So guess what? We look at the third letter to see who wins. It's kind of like overtime in a basketball game. You got to keep going. Okay, so we got an L-E and an L-E. So now we're going to be comparing the third letter, which is A and G. And so which one comes first in the alphabet, A or G? A. So Leaf Hopper will come next and then leg will come next so so far we've got ant crawl firefly hop inchworm leaf and leg so we're doing pretty good we're through with l what about m yep there's mantis so we're through with m n nope o nope p nope q Nope. R. Nope. S. Oh, yes, we do have two S words. So let's look at them. We have sting and spots. The first letters are the same, S, so now we have to compare the second two letters, T and P. So let's look back at our alphabet and let's see which one comes first, T or P. Starting at the beginning, looking for T and P. Well, there's P and there's T. So which one comes first? That's right, letter P. So spots will come first and then sting. And there's our S words. Do we have any T words? Nope. U? Nope. V? Nope. W? Yep, that's our last word. So now we don't even have to finish the rest of the because we don't have any more words to put in order. So that is how you put words in ABC order. You write out the alphabet and then you 
go letter by letter. And if you come to two words that start with the same letter, you look at the second letter, like we did with fire and fly. If you come to words that have the same second letter, too, like leafhopper and leg, they both started with L-E and L-E, well, you go to the third letter. So we compared the A and the G. And you just keep going until you run out of words. And then you have your words in A, B, C order. You might also hear it called alphabetical order. Um, alphabet, a, the alphabet is in other words for like your ABCs, kind of a fancy word. So now your activity is to go into Seesaw and there's a list of bug words from this story and you have to put them in order. Some of them are actually the same words, but you put them in order. Draw your alphabet on the top, take your time and get them in ABC order.